Yeah. Okay. Welcome back. Today we're going to do inverse functions. Are you ready, class? Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. I wonder what they're thinking in the next room. <laughs> Yay, math is what they're thinking. They are. Okay. Inverse functions. Inverse functions is loosely defined by the following. Flip x and y. Replace x and y. That's all it is. Replacing x and y. So, let's think about it. If you had a function, these points, 1, 2, 3, negative 4, Negative 5, negative 8. What's the squigglies? These imply it's a set, a set of three points. A set of three points, yes. Squigglies, call them braces. Many of you are wearing them now. Okay. So, x, y, x, y, x, y. What is the inverse of f? As in, you can raise your hand. Yeah, go ahead. x parentheses f. Uh, that's my great squiggly. What's the first oh, point? Two one. Two one. Yeah. Keep going, everyone. Negative, negative four, three. negative three. Oh, no. Not negative. Not three. quite. Keep going, more people. Negative, negative, eight, 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 negative, negative five. five. That's yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the inverse. The inverse function is written like this. It's like f to the negative one. Or F inverse. So instead of a fraction? Maybe? Right, right. It's just written like that. So it's inverse function. You flip x and y. Any questions about flipping x and y? Okay. Okay. So imagine you had a function that was this. F of x equals, yep. <laughs> I like the jumping. The Mac that'll make you jump, jump. Anyone know Criss Cross in here before your time? Oh, yeah. You know Criss Cross? I was watching on VH1. Make it a beat, make it a beat, Mac Daddy. You got that one? Oh, my God. They were their close They were their close backwards. Okay, okay. I'm not that lost on you. Sabrina. VH1. This is a function. <laughs> this is a function. Here's X. What's Y? What is Y in our? F of X. F of X. Right, right. Thank you, Sabrina. So this is Y. So we rewrite this as y equals okay f of x converts to y f of x converts to y why don't you change it the other one? Oh, it's unnecessary because this is x y x y x y but no, now here why don't you change that to a y we did we change f of x to y no no why did you leave that x yeah oh because x is x you can't change it. No, no. We will, we will change it when we're creating the inverse. So, if inverse means replace x and y with each other, what would the inverse equation be? Yeah? Say it loud. x equals y minus 3 over 5. Correct. Okay. Inverse. You just yeah. replace y with x. Good job, Don. x equals y minus 3 over 5. Okay, this is the beginning. This is the beginning, I was on my belt, of uh, the inverse function. Right? Do you but, have to have the middle step? Well, we know that f of x equals y, so we just need to write it as y to help us out. But technically, no. You can just write this as x equals y minus 3. You can go from here to here. Okay, but however, for it to be a function, we need to solve for y. That's the last step. So we've replaced x and y, and now the equation will be in the form of y equals something. So how do we solve for y here? Multiply by 5. Multiply by 5. Yay! Multiply by 5. <laughs> multiply like the little kid who brought a macaroni picture. So do I! Okay. <laughs> so what do we get? 5x equals what? Y minus, y minus 3. Y minus 3. Y minus 3. What do we do to both sides? Add three. Add three. So y equals five x plus three. Five x plus. Three. You can leave it like that. This is the inverse function. So technically, we can write f to the negative one of x equals. So if I graph that first one and that last one, they'd be. They'd be inverses of each other. Let's talk about that. Wait. Yeah. F to the negative one 
times x of equals x, of, x. of x equals y equals 5x plus 3? No. Yeah, it's like the same as y. Think of it like y. So instead, if we leave it as y, would that be wrong? Not necessarily, no. But when we're talking about functions, the traditional way is to have y in the form of f of x or something. All right? So that's the idea. We just change it to y for the purposes of math. OK. What inverse means, basically, is that each of the two functions, right? if you graph both of them, they would be reflected over the line. Okay, so imagine this is the line y equals x. So think of this line like a mirror. And if you have one function that's like doing something over here, let's say like. This is always on the SAT. <laughs> yes, it is. SAT relevant. So let's say you have one line that's like going like this. Okay? It's one line. The reflection of it would be, if this was the mirror, it would be doing something like this. Pardon the uh, broken lines, but no. Yeah, they're mirror images of each other, and as if the blue line is the mirror. So just think of it that way. That's the conceptual level. However, if you want to do it technically, inverse means flip x and y. Right? That's what it is. Are they always going to cross in the middle point? No, not necessarily. You could have one line, one line that kind of goes like, or one thing that goes like this. So the inverse of this would be a reflection like over here. That's all. So that's reflected. Okay. So how do we know whether two functions are inverses of each other? That's what we're doing next. And that's what we're doing last. Are you ready? Yeah. Did everyone leave? Where'd you guys go? Oh, We're here! Oh, yeah. To the left of the I'm glad you know Criss Cross. I do. Yeah. The wiggity 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 mac daddy. Oh. You didn't date yourself. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're going to be telling our kids about Soldier Boy. <laughs> All right. Do you remember this concept? Yeah. F of g of x. Yes. Okay. If f of g of x, this means there are two functions here. There are two functions. F is a function. G is a function. If it equals x, and g of f of x equals x then you know that f and g are inverses of each other. We're going to do an example now. We're going to do an example. So the same. So the problem will be, f of x is given, g of x is given. Are they inverses of each other? Yeah. And you run the following checks. If they turn out to be both x, then they are inverses of each other. So I'll give you two. So imagine f of x right here f of x equals 5x plus 10. g of x equals 1 over 5x minus 2. And the question is that you'll see on the test or homework, whatever, are f and g inverses of each other?